what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel so we've got Pedro de Luanda matching up against the Patriots you know Pedro de Luanda won that game and uh, that means that they won third place in the BAL the first inaugural season of the BAL and that uh, the Patriots uh, went down 68 they made it to the fourth place and uh, honestly the Patriots just blew uh, they just got blown out in this game and um, they just had, didn't have no answer for the Angolan team. The Rwandan team got beat by the Angolan team. So without further ado, let's get to it. So Petro de Luanda, 45% from the field, 46% from two-pointers, 45% from three-pointers, and 78% uh, from free throw. So as you can see from these stats, I mean, they really outmatched and outclassed the, the Patriots of course the Patriots only scored 31% from the field, 36% from two-point field goals and 27% uh, from three-point field goals. The same inefficiency and, and lack of short selection that I've been mentioning in the previous games. They suffered from the same and uh, it's pretty sad to see a team suffer from the same mistake over and over and over again. It just keeps on, keeps, keeps on getting redundant at some point. But hey, I mean, sometimes you just learn how learn, you have to learn from experience, and uh, yeah, and this is what happens. Petro de Luanda gave the Patriots the L, and uh, they became the fourth place team. So, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. So the Petro de Luanda, forty-five rebounds, twenty-seven assists, eleven steals, four blocks, suffered struggled with fourteen turnovers, and uh, yeah, man. And as compared to the Patriots, 43 point, 43 rebounds, I mean, 16 assists, 8 steals, 2 blocks, 18 turnovers, I mean, couldn't take care of the ball. And uh, that's why they failed. That's why they fell. So, great credit to the Angolan team. Valdelicio, Valdelicio Joachim, 21 points. Carlos Moraes, 13 points. Ryan Richards, 13 points. John Pedro, 9 boards. Ch Chile Dandao, 6 rebounds. Leonel Paolo, 5 rebounds. Atwan Scott, 7 assists. Gerson Domingos, 5 assists. Leonel Paolo, 5 assists. So you can see this team was built for moments like this and uh, they never shied away. Unlike, the comp unlike their competitors, we got Kenneth Gasana, 18 points. This guy came out pretty cold. Um, this other guy, 13 points. Brian Costner, 11, 11 points. Got Nzie, Nzie, eight, 8 rebounds. Prince Ibe, 6 rebounds. Brian Costner, five, re, 5 boards. And the assist department, each got 3 leaders. And uh, it's, the Patriots just give away this game. I mean, as much as I keep on... Uh, mentioning the things that they need to improve on i mean they don't change they just play the same and uh yeah even if you come to the points that they scored in any each quarter so in the first quarter peter de Luanda came out came out of the gate strong scored 24 points in the first quarter while the patriots 14 points they increased on that they built they made sure they built upon the momentum they had in the first quarter and took it to the second quarter they beat they beat the patriots 29 to 23 in the second quarter the third quarter is where petro de londa just pulled away completely because they scored 27 points in the third quarter and the patriots only managed to get 13 points so that's when they managed to pull away although the Patriots tried to fight back in the fourth quarter. It was too late because the blowout was really set and uh, the margin was too hard to recover from. So yeah, man, I mean, this was it. And uh, let's just check the leaders. Just I've just brushed brush past them really quick. Okay, we've got this guy. We've got Prince Ibe, Leo Paolo. I know these guys from... I know these guys from the Angolan team, Angolan national team. So in points, we've got these guys. I've mentioned them pre previously. Came in 
pretty well in the assist department it was a tie it was tied between three people in uh in the patriots and uh yeah man you know john pedro alone got four blocks i mean protected the paint pretty well and uh all in all good game for the angolan team because they just came out and just decided to take this game or just just take this game in their own hands and um yeah they started off pretty well yeah out of the gate the angolan team came in pretty strong first quarter second quarter as well the shots were dropping even if they missed they were trying to be more efficient and break even the third quarter they tried attacking inside and hit them with them threes that's when they outscored them 27 to 13 and in the fourth quarter not many of the shots went in but the blowout was already set and good to go so i mean the patriots must learn from this so that this never happens again because you can never get blown out like this this is very embarrassing especially in a deciding in a game that decides your rank in the bal they should know this coming into the next bal tournament that's going to happen so yeah man so we've got total rebounds I already checked the stat yeah them guys them guys just need to improve just use this as an experience and a motivating thing to change Petro de Luanda keep grinding keep fighting and uh, make sure to challenge these top teams especially Egypt and Tunisia so yeah that's what I have to say man overall good game for Petro de Luanda actually when I saw this game I was thinking about choosing a side and if I chose a side this would be the team that I would choose and uh, yeah that's what I have to say so before anything else you have to see what Bushwa Mokota did because he represents Team Orans 21 minutes 4 points <laughs> <laughs> oh my god excuse me uh, what did he do nothing minus, plus minus over minus 13 I mean 5 rebounds 2 assists Man, the man did nothing in this game, so that's just an honorable mention because I'll be covering the Afro basket, especially Kenya. So this guy contributed nothing to this game, so yeah, just 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 put it out there. And um, yeah, man, I like I, li I like the way these guys played. Uh, just to run it down quick, got down down sixteen minutes play, twelve points. He got 12 points, 6 rebounds, 2 assists, 1 steal, had a plus minus or plus 17. As you as you can notice, the first starting 5 of the Petrolet de Luanda team, the Angolan team, all had positive plus minus, so it means that they are very efficient. And if you look at their competitors, all of them were suffering because these guys just put their foot down in the first half and um, it was all downhill. For the Patriots because they couldn't stop the bleeding so any decision that they made was rendered inefficient they weren't able to convert on shots they weren't able to make make good plays and smart plays so yeah man got John Pedro 21 minutes three points four rebounds nine rebounds with two steals I mean pretty good four blocks Goncalves five five points he had five points three rebounds four assists one steal yeah man i mean these guys are, came out pretty strong i'm not gonna cover these guys because you know these guys just um they just wet the bed so nobody was on no nobody had a positive plus minus aside from this guy but he only played three minutes and uh, very inefficient game for the patriots and uh, even if they had j cole i don't think <laughs> he would have assisted in anything <laughs> yeah man but uh, this guy still has the same woes that he had in the Morans team and he doesn't even show any improvement none of these games were spectacular And a sh but special congratulations to Petro de Luanda for this kudos you are the truth 
so yeah man let's look just at the scoring revolution you can see they made 31 percent they were made 31 percent of their field goals on their here this was the short this is the short breakdown for the Pedro de Luanda team so 77 percent of the shots were going in at this area so they were able to convert very pretty well and uh as for the as for the patriots none of their shots were going in at all because as you can see from this scoring chart this uh, circular chart on two point field goals that's when the petro de Londa team the angolan team was converting as many points as they could so yeah i mean it is what it is and uh they have to live with this result for for the rest of their lives because this is going to go down in history and uh, as a performance that they blew and uh, because of the efficient play that they don't change especially when it comes to matchups they don't pay attention to matchups which is very sad and um, yeah the Angolan team see you in the Afro basket hope them Kenya Morans have been training for you so with that being said I would like to say I'm very happy covering this uh, BAL. It's been a fun, it's been a fun ride. But I'll be dropping a video later today to talk about the finals game that happened. And uh, yeah. So with that being said, please be sure to subscribe to the channel, like, smash the like button, turn on notification posts so that you never miss any videos I'm dropping. And uh, leave your feedback in the comment section down below. And, uh, and with that being said, I'm going to see you next time. And uh, peace.